And we're back to CapCut. Let me show you another color splash effect, this time for a selective, a specific color. I'm going to use this footage of a flower blooming. Ctrl C, Ctrl V to copy this, so we have it two times. I make the one below invisible and I make sure the one on top is highlighted. If it isn't for you, left click on it in the timeline. I use the default layout. Go to video and then you'll find the color right here. Check the chroma key and then you have this eyedropper, this color picker tool. You can left click on it and then select a specific color in the freeze frame and then adjust the strength and the black parts will show you what is affected. It makes a difference what color you pick. So let me go fully up and you can see we've got a little bit in the background. We don't want that. So I go down. But around 50 should be a good value here. But if I now use the color picker and hover over the flower, you can see how that changes. So make sure to select a good color that selects whatever you want to have as this color splash effect, in my case the flower. So I have to find a good spot, maybe this one here. And I go a little bit up again and it should be fine. Next step is we'll make the bottom element, the bottom clip visible again. Make sure you're still on the top one though. So it needs to be highlighted. Then go to adjustments and we'll go down with our saturation. And now only this flower has a color, the selected color red and the rest is black and white desaturated. You can see there are still some fragments here and there. That's stuff that you have to clean up manually if you want to have perfect results. I'm going to make a specific video about that as well. But most viewers wouldn't notice in this specific case. So you can use this technique and try it out on your clip. And let's say 90-95% of the time, this is all that you need. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.